Hi, Dr. Robert Selig, and happy summer solstice in 2024. Now, today I want to do a quick video on lithium because lately I've been getting asked many questions about how I use lithium in a mineral balancing program. How do I incorporate? What are my thoughts on lithium? So I think lithium is one of the most fascinating minerals in the entire mineral matrix. So it actually is the original trinity. So during the Big Bang, the Big Bang gave us hydrogen, a gas, helium, a gas, and lithium, the first solid metal on the table. So it becomes the building block for our brain. It's the reason why we have a thinking man's brain. What's interesting about lithium is that it's the only element that has this bi-directional spin to it, meaning it's got a right-hand spin and a left-hand spin. And chemistry has a lot to do with that chirality of the movement and spin of an element. And it's the only element that I know of that goes both ways. So hence, with the building block of that original trinity, it's laying the groundwork, it's laying the neural connections to connect the right hemisphere to the left hemisphere. So we operate holographically with a whole brain. So lithium is very, very interesting. So yes, it's the original trinity. It's referred to as the god of water because it's ruled by Neptune. So Neptune is the god of water. Neptune is the god of emotion. So we have to understand about this Neptunian energy because it's the furthest planet in our solar system from the sun. So it really has this higher divination to it. And when we think about lithium, most of the lithium in the brain is in the hippocampus. You know, you have lithium throughout the entire brain. It's in every healthy cell needs lithium. But for some reason, it's concentrated in the hippocampus. And that's our sense of feeling good and feeling connected. And that has a strong limbic connected to other parts of the brain. But for whatever reason, that hippocampus is highly dependent on lithium. And this is where we know that we have neuroplasticity in the brain when lithium is abundant, so we can keep growing and expanding our neural connections. So that's why nutritional lithium absolutely has a place. But what's interesting about this hippocampus, there's a famous sea creature, a sea monster called the hippocampus. You know, kind of similar to what Pegasus is, the hippocampus is Neptune rides on the sea creature called the hippocampus. And no coincidence that lithium is ruled by the planet Neptune. And here we see the high connection, the high concentration of lithium in the hippocampus. So that's pretty far out, fascinating stuff. So that's really interesting in my mind. Now, Lithium is going to be one of those elements that transmutes on a dime. So when we get into the work of transmutation, we got to study uh, Professor Louis Caravarent. This was a French professor who put out a book, The Biological Transmutation, how minerals are transmuting to different elements. And lithium will transmute probably the fastest out of all the minerals in the in the world, lithium transmutes pretty quickly. It could become sodium, potassium, and occasionally beryllium. That's why lithium is hard to measure in the body or in foods because of that transmutation property. And that gets into the that gets into alchemy. Alchemy is the transmutation of spirit into matter, matter into spirit. So this professor Louis Caravant really tapped into alchemy in the modern day world because he was a hardcore scientist who talked about transmutation and lithium is that one element that transmutates into that sodium potassium 
pretty frequently, pretty quickly. So that's some interesting stuff about lithium. Also, another factoid, a fun factoid is they put lithium in 7-Up. So during the cola wars, we had Coca-Cola that was more for the adrenaline junkie loaded with the caffeine and the original formula had the cocaine. So that was adrenaline junkie high. Now, the flip side was the Uncola. 7-Up, they put in lithium citrate into 7-Up. And the reason why they called it 7-Up, so they use God's favorite number seven, because lithium's atomic number is 6.94 to 6.99. And they rounded it up to seven to give you the effervescent 7-Up with that lithium citrate to give you that that more ethereal high, not that adrenaline, you know, adrenaline junkie buzz caffeine of uh, Coca-Cola. So here we get that more etheric pick me up, feel good without that adrenaline uh, drive that you get from the other drinks. So that's some interesting stuff about lithium and how they used it in the soda because, you know, uh, they took it out and, you know, we have to revisit lithium because pharma uses lithium all day long. It's in many, many drugs, but most famously it's used for as, you know, for mania, bipolar, depression, you know, going from the manias to the, to the depression. Lithium, because it lights up the hippocampus and other regions of the limbic brain to give us some balance in the brain so we can be firing on all cylinders so we're not manic, so we're not depressed. And that's the powerful essence of lithium. And lithium has that ethereal connection because that planet Neptune is divine. So Neptune is the higher octave of Venus and the moon. So when we think of Venus, Venus is the planet of love. And Venus says, I love you. I love my wife. I love my children. I love my, you know, I love um, all the things in this physical world where Neptune says, I love everything. It's a cosmic love. It's, a, it's cosmic emotions. It's emotions of cosmic memory. So under Neptune, we see the power of Neptune in that real ethereal kind of spiritual divine love and connection to everything, where we also have to understand the black magic of Neptune, where Neptune becomes illusion delusion it's black magic it's uh you know it's really deceiving us and that's where it comes under drugs and alcohol and opiums and the ayahuascas and the magic mushrooms anything that affects consciousness is going to be under that neptunian energy and so we think of you know, kind of like the organized religions telling us what God is, what God isn't. So they're trying to tell you the ineffable God. You can't explain God. And you have these organized religions with their dogmas telling you what to believe in, telling you to do this and to do that, throw some Caesar coin in the bucket, and you're going to go to heaven. You know, that type of nonsense we see being portrayed in the world religions of today. So it's freeing ourselves from these shackles of other, other black magic uh, influences from the drugs, from the dogmas of religions to have that spiritual divine connection to the waters of emotions, to have that divine love. That's that, that really is that spiritual connection of Neptune. Also very interesting about lithium is they use lithium. We know it's used in, you know, from pacemakers to watches to, you know, now the whole battery industry is getting into lithium because it's lightweight. It's, you know, third element on the table. So it's going to be very lightweight, but yet it moves electrons. So it has that amazing ability to be lightweight but to move the electrons, to move the electricity, to get the job done like no other metal. So that's some of the fascinating aspects of lithium. Also, 
uh, NASA and space missions and Apollo and submarines will use a lithium hydroxide because the lithium hydroxide is going to take out the CO2 that the astronauts and, you know, uh, the Navy guys are breathing in the air. You know, they're breathing out that CO2. The lithium hydroxide captures the CO2. Now, that's a fascinating aspect of lithium because CO2 is not just this metabolic waste product we've been told about. The yogis understood CO2. The yogis understood breath work because in the breath work, they were able to transcend normal states of consciousness through controlling the breath. And when they controlled the CO2 through, you know, years and years of breath work, that CO2 in the brain with controlled rhythmic yogic breath would cause the carbon to split off from the CO2 and the carbon would be utilized as an energy source. Then the two oxygens would split. When the two oxygens split, it would transmutate into the lithium to give them the yogis that ethereal feel of connectivity and that divine status of connection to everything. So that's some of the fascinating parts of this lithium. Also, the yogis understood how important that breath work was in the pineal gland. So when we look at the pineal in the diencephalon, the thalamus, the hypothalamus, and then you have the epithalamus, which is the pineal and the habenula. So that makes up that primitive brain in the diencephalon. And then the limbic brain connecting to the hippocampus, the amygdala. And that's where all these sensory feelings uh, are coming into play. That's why when we see depression and anxiety, um, we know we got some work to do. And we know that lithium is going to be a player in it. So we need to really understand how to utilize lithium because allopathic medicine, you know, they know they're putting it in the drugs because it's moving the electrons to get the job done. They know when the antidepressant doesn't work, they're going to put you on a lithium carbonate and they're, you know, it'll take longer to work, but they have to monitor your kidneys to make sure that, you know, you don't hit the cap on lithium before it becomes toxic to the kidneys. So I would say, why don't we use nutritional lithium, you know, to start building us up and we can use lithium orotate from one milligram to 30 milligrams. And the dose will be very specific to what's going on with the patient. Then we can also use lithium in homeopathic potency, anywhere from a 6X to a 30C to a, to a 1M to a 10M. So we have different potencies. I like to use a homeopathic lithium as a tissue salt in a 6X potency to lay the groundwork of these neural connections in these young brains and these children that we see with the autism and the manias and, you know, just bad brains across the, you know, across what we see in our population. So I love lithium. I think uh, nutritional lithium absolutely has a place in mineral balancing because it affects sodium and potassium and transmutation. We always got to keep an eye on the sodium potassium on a hair test and that sodium potassium ratio. So yes, use lithium, use lithium intelligently, understand that lithium is a major player in every cell in the body, especially in the limbic part of our brain for our emotions. Understand that Neptune connection. Don't be deceived in conjured by the black spirits of Neptune. Create the magic of Neptune where we do get that divine connection to that higher force of this universe. So that's what I wanted to talk about today regarding lithium. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave it down below and I will get back to you. And once again, thank you for watching.